The Riverdale campus is quiet now. Actually, it's not so quiet since the summer camp started today. Summer has poured in and our young ladies and men are off doing summer things. Some are on school trips in Africa or in France, while others are honing their soccer and tennis skills, while our recently graduated seniors prepare for college life ahead. Welcome to our first Riverdale Country School News Blast, an online video newscast in which we'll show you just a few of the many compelling stories related to our school. From an enterprising young student writing for Time for Kids, to one of the many graduates returning to teach in our halls, to energy savings on our campuses, to a new green program teaching children about growing plants and food. In our first story, we meet Forrest Simpson, a rising seventh grader whose byline in both Time and Time for Kids magazine is the envy of many professional journalists. I'm Forrest Simpson and I'm in sixth grade. I'm a correspondent, a writer for Time for Kids, a national newspaper that's a section of Time magazine that's distributed all throughout classrooms in America. So they'll give me assignments and I'll report on them. A great experience that I also got to participate in is getting to write in the Real Time magazine. Jeff Kinney, who wrote Diary of a Wimpy Kid series, I wrote his profile for the Time 100, so I got to have a byline in time. It's really reinforced that love of writing. Forrest hopes to be a Coast Guard pilot when he grows up, and with a track record like this, anything is possible. Did you know there's a farm on the Riverdale campus? That's right. We're turning lower school students into some of the best farmers you can find here in the Bronx. All because of a gardening program launched by lower school teachers and administrators. Let's go into this. At Riverdale Country School, we really believe in using the country in the city. And so I've always done gardening with the pre-K and kindergarten. Recently, we're expanding it to the whole lower school and weaving a green thread through our curriculum. We're documenting it through photographs, and the art department is also bringing out children to sketch in the garden. For some of the teachers, they're using it as a writing experience, in, for instance, doing a poem about nature. One of the things we want to build are children who observe and then question. When we say, where does your salad grow? We're not asking children to say in the supermarket. We really want to grow their salad from scratch here. So it's been an effort with teachers and children to think carefully about food and the food we eat. Energy awareness and conservation are on all of our minds these days. Rising senior Michael Volpert has teamed with the Director of Plant and Sustainability, David Patnaud, to make energy conservation into an educational experience. Here's a story about their ongoing efforts to make a difference on campus. Solar would be on that roof because this is almost dead south. I think I want to definitely do something with the intersection of business and science. I was talking to Ms. Marshall and she suggested that I meet Mr. Patnaud to do a green project to reduce carbon emissions in Riverdale. They're the oldest boilers on the campus, and therefore they're very inefficient. Our goal is to reduce the carbon footprint by 10% at Riverdale. Just make it a greener campus, but also save a lot of money as well and save energy, so like a double win. So is this like the only viable option? No, we have other options. I have a group of friends that I just enlisted in. We're sort of going to maybe break up into teams, and we might even turn it into an independent study next year as a group. I want to be an engineer probably in college, so this will be good experience. Last year, the middle school was treated to an inspirational talk from a Riverdale grad, Tim Morehouse, who won an Olympic silver medal in fencing at the Beijing Olympics. Tim told of how his fencing career almost didn't happen after he initially joined the team. The coach actually came to me, you know, he was very patient with me in the beginning, and then he came to me when he saw that it started to, uh, I started to enjoy it. He said, listen, if you don't start behaving, you don't start coming to practice, I'm going to kick you off a fencing team. So I was within one practice of being kicked off the fencing team um, in seventh grade, and I decided at that point that, you know what, I like this enough, I'm going to you know, dedicate myself to it. And I started coming every day, I started really enjoying it. And at the same time, when I found something that I loved at Riverdale, it was like really exciting to come to school every day, my grades started to improve, um, and that's kind of how I started. Tim Morehouse is currently the top-ranked U.S. fencer, and he is training full-time for the 2012 Olympics in London. One of this year's grads, Julian Musicant, was named Varsity Lacrosse All-American by Ivy League coaches again this year. A four-year starter at midfield, Julian, who was a co-captain, 
also plays for New York's Empire Lacrosse team. Julian will suit up for Brown University next spring. Academic honors go to Dan Arnstein, a member of the Riverdale class of 2005. Dan was recently awarded a Fulbright scholarship. As part of the scholarship, Dan will be studying cognitive neuroscience in Holland. Dan has come a long way since participating in Riverdale's summer science program between his sophomore and junior years. Even before his high school junior year, he made some important discoveries relating to diabetes. Eight former Riverdale students are now working as teachers or administrators on campus this year. Here's a story about one freshman teacher, Dwight Vidal, who got his inspiration from the Teach for America program. Today, he couldn't be happier to be back. Let's go with, uh, let's go with Ethan. Ethan, you'll be my slim. My name is Dwight Vidal, and I'm a proud graduate of Riverdale Country School, class of 2001. I'm also a first-year teacher here at Riverdale. I teach sixth grade and 10th grade English. After I graduated from Brown University, I joined Teach for America. I did the program for three years and decided that the best place to come back to in New York would be Riverdale. All right, so he's very upset. He's telling him, stay away from her, stay away from her. All right, let's continue. While I was in college, I did a lot of community service. Upon graduation, I was approached by Teach for America, and before I knew it, I was teaching, and I've been in love with the profession ever since. Excellent. Even though Lenny is so slow, he still understands. For my sixth graders and my 10th graders, I always try to envision them as college freshmen and sophomores. I know that when I went to college, I had a tough time making the transition, and I want to be able to help them make that transition much easier. So I try to push them in my classroom and I know that when it's time for them to leave Riverdale, the education that they got will leave them well prepared and ready to tackle any challenges that they might encounter. These are just some of the many stories we wanted to share with you before we all head off for a little summer rest and then start ramping up for the coming fall. Thanks so much for all you do for our wonderful school. It has been a great year and we can't wait to see you in September when we launch a brand new year.